uh, the fate of disgraced Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. His sentencing hearing begins today. It's expected to feature dramatic testimony from three veterans injured while searching for him. Kelly Wright is here now with the latest and what we can expect this morning. Kelly? Jillian and Rob, good morning to you as well. Sergeant Bo Bergdahl is speaking out for the first time since pleading guilty to desertion. And his comments, well, they're sparking more outrage towards the disgraced soldier. In an interview with the British Sunday Times, Bergdahl said his Taliban captors were more honest with him than the U.S. Army has been since his release from the Taliban. Bergdahl saying at least the Taliban were honest enough to say I'm the guy who's going to cut your throat. Here, it could be the guy I pass in the corridor who's going to sign the paper that sends me away for life. Bergdahl was captured in 2009, you'll recall. After leaving his base in Afghanistan, the Taliban eventually freed him in May of 2014 as part of a controversial prisoner exchange with five Taliban members who were being detained at Guantanamo Bay Detention Center. Now, three soldiers suffered life-changing injuries in the search for Bergdahl. Their statement are strong evidence against him. Retired Green Beret Commander Michael Waltz led the special forces team that conducted that search. Soldiers were injured, soldiers were killed directly in the search, and then what's more difficult to prove, like I was saying, was indirectly. You know, how many were harmed because they didn't get that medevac as fast as they should have mm. because yeah. it was dedicated to look uh, for him. Bergdahl's defense attorneys may argue concerns about comments that President Trump made as candidate Trump as repeatedly calling Bergdahl a traitor. We're tired of Sergeant Bergdahl, who's a traitor. He's a traitor, a no good traitor, who should have been executed. Bergdahl entered what's known as a naked plea. Now, that means no deal for lesser punishment. He is, of course, hoping for leniency from the judge. We'll see today. Rob. Yeah, see how quickly that comes around. All right, Kelly, thanks so much.